will continue a string data type we already completed four data types int float complex bool int means whole numbers float is decimal with point complex is real and imaginary bool is true and false today we will continue string data type string string data string data type string data type what is string any sequence of characters enclosed within a single quote or double quote or triple single quotes or triple double quotes is called string strings are divided into three types first one is a single line string second one is multi line string third one is dog string first we will see single line string first one single line single line string uh, what is single line string any sequence of characters enclosed within a single quote or double quotes is called single line string for example yes is equal to rajini this one is a single quote first we will check the type by using type function type of yes type of s it returns class str class str next we will take double quotes double quotes s is equal to we will take any number also this is the number this is not a number this one is a string because we are enclosed within a double quotes yes is we will check the type type of s it returns string class str this is the single line string what is single line string any sequence of characters enclosed within a single quotes or double quotes is called single line string uh, if you are taking opposite that means s is equal to double quotes and r a j a n a rajini and single quotes this is the double quotes and this one is the uh, single quote immediately we will get syntax error quotes are very important if you are taking double quotes compulsory ends with double quotes if you starts with the single quote compulsory we should ends with single quote this is the single line string what is multi line string if you are taking this one also yes is equal to some a if you want to enter a one more line then immediately we will get syntax error syntax error because end of line end of file end of line compulsory we should close the double quotes otherwise immediately we will get syntax error this is the single line string uh, what is multi line string what is multi line string multi multi line string is any sequence of characters enclosed within a triple single quotes or triple double quotes is called multi line string we'll see the multi line string we'll see the multi line string second one second one multi line multi line string what is multi line string what is multi line string any sequence of characters enclosed within a single uh, triple single quotes or triple double quotes is called 
मल्टी लाइन स्ट्रिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट सपोज एस इज इक्वल वन टू थ्री ट्रिपल सिंगल कोड्स आर ए जे ए एन आई रजनी आई वॉन्ट टू एंटर वन मोर लाइन दट वन इज पाइथॉन एंड नेक्स्ट वन मोर जांगो क्लोज दिस वन इज मल्टी लाइन स्ट्रिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट मल्टी लाइन स्ट्रिंग वी विल यूज द प्रिंट फंक्शन वॉट इज प्रिंट प्रिंट फंक्शन इज यूज टू डिस्प्ले द आउटपुट येस इमीडिएटली वी विल डिस्प्ले रजनी पाइथॉन एंड जांगो दिस वन इज मल्टी लाइन स्ट्रिंग इफ यू आर नॉट यूजिंग print function we will use directly variable name then immediately we will get rajini slash n python slash n django slash n means new line in python this is the multi line string we will use the triple double quotes also triple double quotes let's suppose Yes, one is equal to triple double quotes A, B, C. Close triple double quotes. If you want to print S, then immediately we will get A slash N, B slash N, C. This is a slash N means new line. If you want to line by line, then we should use print function. Print yes one s one. Then immediately we will display a b c. We will use s one variable. Otherwise, immediately we will get name error. This is the multi line string. Uh, single line. string is completed and multi line string is completed if you want to write single line then we should use a single quotes or double quotes if you want to use multi line then we should go for triple single quotes or triple double quotes and this is the string concept on doc string we will discuss in functions and hoops concept next next we will go for indexing very very important in any language indexing next our topic is uh, string is a group of characters so if you want to total string then we should use the variable name i want to one by one one character that means we should go for indexing index index concept this one is very important uh index how two types first one is forward index and second one is backward index forward index first we will see the forward forward index let's suppose we will take one string yes is equal to rajini first we will take one diagram that one is r a j a n i forward index starts with 0 forward index starts with 0 ends with length of length of variable name variable name minus 1 now what is length length is a built in function it starts with 1 it returns number of characters present in your string uh next 1 2 3 4 this is forward index this one is forward forward index and this one is positive index and next this one is from left to right forward index starts with 0 starts with starts with 
जीरो स्टार्ट्स विथ जीरो एंड्स विथ एंड्स विथ एंड्स विथ लेंथ ऑफ वेरिएबल नेम वेरिएबल नेम माइनस वन इंडेक्स सिंटैक्स इज सिंटैक्स फॉर फॉरवर्ड इंडेक्स वी विल टेक वेरिएबल नेम वेरिएबल नेम स्क्वेर ब्राकेट्स एंड इंडेक्स नंबर इंडेक्स नंबर दिस इज द सिंटैक्स फॉर फॉरवर्ड इंडेक्स दिस इज द पॉजिटिव डिफॉल्ट साइन इज पॉजिटिव वी आर नॉट मैंशन प्लस ओके ना इफ यू वॉन्ट टू प्रिंट आर देन वी शुड यूज दिस सिंटैक्स दैट मीन्स यस इज रजनी वेरिएबल नेम इज एस एंड स्क्वेर ब्राकेट्स इंडेक्स नंबर इज जीरो will it returns r and next next to if you want to print a then we should use one one index it returns a if you want to print last last character then we should use directly formula length of variable name minus 1 it returns i what is length length returns length is a built in function it returns number of characters present in a string 1 2 3 4 5 6 it returns 6 6 minus 1 5 that's why it returns last index number if you are taking out of index that means i will take 10 10 index is not available then immediately we will get index error index index error this is the exception and message is string index out of range this is the forward index next we will go for backward index we will go for backward index second one is backward backward index backward index starts with minus 1 ends with minus length of variable name because starts with minus 1 that's why we'll take length next minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and minus 5 backward index starts with starts with starts with minus 1 ends with ends with minus length of length of variable name length of variable name this is the backward uh, index starts with minus 1 ends with minus length of variable name by using this uh, starting and index uh, ending index we will uh, reverse the string first we will take one string s is equal to rajini this is my string and if you want to print last character by using minus index this syntax is variable name variable name and minus index number index number index number that means this one is backward direction backward backward direction and next this one is negative index negative index and this one is from right to left right to left 
this is the backward index backward index starts with minus 1 and ends with minus length of variable name um, s of minus 1 s of minus 1 we will get i last character if you want to last i mean uh, reverse in last character s of minus length of variable name immediately we will get r s of minus 2 n s of minus 3 a if you take out of index that means we will take s of minus 10 this is the out of string if the index is not available then immediately we will get index error if the index is not available then immediately we will get index error this is the exception exception message is string index out of range this is the backward index if the variable is not available then immediately we will get name error same way if the index is not available then immediately we will get index error this is the built-in exception next one next concept is slicing thank you for watching this video please share subscribe like comment we will cover next video is slicing